Hi, my name is Andrea and today we're making bacon cheeseburger sliders. This recipe uses simple ingredients that produce big results. And as always, I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. So let's get started. First, we're gonna start off by browning our ground beef and onions until that ground beef is cooked through. So while that ground beef is cooking, we're just gonna cut our rolls in half without separating that top from the bottom. I'm using a serrated knife, which has the ridges. It'll make it a lot easier to slice through that bread. And once you've got that bread separated, you're just gonna put it on the bottom of a greased casserole dish. I'm using a nine by 13 dish, and I greased my casserole dish with butter. And then you're gonna layer that bread with half of the cheese slices. Next, you're gonna pop it in the oven at 350 degrees for about five minutes or so. So my ground beef has finished cooking and I used a lean ground beef so I didn't have to worry about draining it. So I'm adding in my salt and pepper, Worcestershire sauce, drained diced tomatoes with garlic and onion, and Dijon mustard. And I'm just gonna give this a good stir until everything is combined. Next, I'm just pouring that meat mixture right on top. Next, we're gonna add our bacon, and I did cut my bacon into one inch slices. And we're gonna to top it with that remaining cheese. Next, we're gonna add on our top buns. And then we're just gonna set this aside so that I can make the sauce. Okay, so in my microwave safe bowl, I have one stick of unsalted butter. I just added in some Worcestershire sauce, got some brown sugar and Dijon mustard. I am going to microwave this for a minute, two minutes until that butter is melted. Okay, so I just took the melted butter mixture out of the microwave and I'm just pouring it right on top. And then you can just spread it out a little bit and sprinkle it with sesame seeds. And now I'm just gonna bake this in my oven at 350 degrees uncovered for about 20, 25 minutes. Okay, so here are the sliders. I did let them bake for 23 minutes and I took a couple out so you could see them close up and here they are. And I have some on the plate serving them with a side of garlic fries. I hope you all enjoy this quick and easy recipe. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. I have an entire playlist of quick and easy recipes that I will link in the description box. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.